Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to our late afternoon update at Victoria Holmes in the WNCT Digital Studio. We're starting off our update tracking crime across the east. An Onslow County woman has been arrested and charged with murder from an incident that happened early Monday morning. The Onslow County Sheriff's Office says Melissa Toporsalis is currently being held in the Onslow County Detention Center under no bond. Deputies responded to a home on Marshall Chapel Road in Midway Park on Monday morning. When they arrived, they found a man, James Wesley Newell, dead. There were signs of a physical altercation at the scene. Staying closer to the coast, the Carter County Sheriff's Office is looking for a woman whose family member's day has not contacted them since August 20th. Sarah Lynn Guthrie is 42 years old, 5'3 and 220 pounds, with brown hair and brown eyes. You can see her on your screen now. Officials say she had contact with law enforcement at a hotel in Burlington, but nothing since. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Carter County Sheriff's Office. More details are on our website at WNCT.com. And back here in Pitt County, Greenville police say they are investigating a shooting that happened Monday night. Officers got a call around 11.45 p.m. from a woman who said she had been shot in the head. Investigations led to a car with what appeared to be the driver's side window shot out in the southbound lanes of the 3600 block of Greenville Boulevard Southeast, near the intersection of Old Pactolis Road. No word on the woman's condition or any suspects. Happier news from Craven County, Mumfest is returning to downtown New Bern. Organizers of the event say this year the festival will return with its normal layout and experience, but will have additional social distancing between vendors. The festival finishes on October 29th at the Lawson Creek Park with a concert featuring three-time Grammy Award-winning artist Nelly. You can see the full schedule of events at WNCT.com. And if you have any students in your household, make sure to mark Wednesday, October 6th on your calendar. That's because it's National Walk to School Day. The annual celebration encourages more families to consider getting to school on foot or bike, bringing attention to circumstances that may be getting in the way. Nearly 110 events will be held across North Carolina. We have a list of those events at WNCT.com. And we're counting down, to th down the days until the North Carolina State Fair. It'll open October 14th and run until the 24th. They have quite a few different foods there, including Chef Delight's Atomic Tots, described as spicy seasoned tater tots topped with spicy cheese sauce, sweet heat shredded chicken, pepper bacon, spicy ranch, sour cream, and a crispy fried hot pepper. Of course, the classics will also be there, funnel cakes and corn dogs. And it's Tuesday, which means another episode of What the Politics is out across all podcast platforms. Emily and I spoke with Dr. Robert Ross, a Boston College professor and expert in defense policy. We talk about China's power on the global stage and how the average Chinese citizen views the West. We also talk about the trade wars between these nations and the crackdown on protests across the country. To see the video ele element, visit WNCT.com and click the podcast network tab. Thank you for tuning in to our late afternoon update. I'm Victoria Holmes in the WNCT Digital Studio.